Hello, Laurie. La 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 la. Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain the importance of using our voice when we're giving an online presentation. Now, I know that sounds silly because what else would we be using if it wasn't our voice? But when we're talking face to face, we're actually giving an awful lot of non-verbal communication by the gestures that we give. But unless you've got the whole of the body in the video, you're going to miss an awful lot of those. And this is why it's also more tiring to actually watch a presentation than it is to see one in real life. We're missing some of those verbal, non-verbal cues. Online, our voice has got to do everything. It's got to do all of the work. So to start with, I mean, I don't know if you're like me, but I could be giving a presentation and not actually spoken to anyone for most of the day. So I warm up. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. There's plenty of warm up exercises on the internet you can find. And don't worry, I'm not expecting anyone to sing, particularly not me. So once you've warmed up your vocal cords and actually your face as well, a bit of smiling. It's funny how a smile comes across even if you're just on audio and you haven't actually got the video. You may have heard of the term vocal variety. It's split up into many different bits. First of all is the pitch. Am I speaking up here? Am I speaking down there? Am I speaking in my normal voice? And then we've got the pace. If you can start really, really slowly and build the speed of your voice and your words until you get some excitement building and building and building. It helps with the engagement. Pauses can be used for dramatic effect. The tone of your voice suggests the mood that you have towards the listener. Are you sitting comfortably, boys and girls? Now here I have on display my new widget that I want you to be impressed at. The tone can make a difference. Now this one should be quite obvious, the volume. Are you being a bit conspiratorial? Do you want people to lean in and listen? Or do you want to shout it out to the world? Be careful if you do start shouting it to the world, because once you're loud, there's not many places you can go from there. Try and pitch it down a bit. And there's the emphasis that you can make on certain words. You may really want to make a point, but really keep something else a little bit hidden. And intonation, the question mark at the end of a word. That's the intonation. All these things we usually use in everyday speech anyway. But there's a great recap of them all in the BBC Bite Size for Drama GCSE. I've put a link just down below. The internet bandwidth has a big effect on the audio that we hear. Whether your, it's your problem with the upload or your audience's problem with the download. I'm sure we've all experienced a speaker breaking up and sounding like a Dalek. If we leave more pauses and speak slower, then it will give the audience time to catch up even if they missed a few of the syllables. So to recap, your voice does an awful lot in an online presentation. Warm it up, practice, use your face muscles, before you start. Try and include different vocal variety, different techniques of speaking, and speak slower. 